It's really important to look after the sea. It's home to so much wildlife, but also because the sea does so much for us as people. We really rely on it to provide us with so many different things from food. It provides half the oxygen that we breathe. The sea is doing a huge amount of different jobs and services for us. So it's incredibly important that we keep the environment and the wildlife that calls it home healthy. Flamborough is a European marine site protected for its breeding seabirds, its sea caves and the chalk reef. Our mission is about protecting wildlife for the sake of the environment, inspiring people to take action, to feel empowered to bring about change for their environment. That may be people that live in the local community, it might be young people to raise that kind of voice and bring about political change, or it might be people who use the marine environment. The North Sea Advocacy Project began because there was a real gap in protection for our marine wildlife. Our seas are pretty much a jigsaw, from oil and gas activity to fishing activity, loads of different things happening, but also there's wildlife in there as well. We know that we've got weird and wonderful wildlife out there, but we've got very little in the way of protection for those habitats and those species that are so important to us. So the work that we've been doing through the North Sea Protected Area Partnership has very much been about creating space for wildlife within that jigsaw, both to help us address the ecological crisis that we're facing, but also the climate crisis that we're facing. I think that most people think that you need to go the other side of the world to see whales and dolphins. You absolutely don't. We have a huge wealth of marine life in the North Sea. We've got some huge colonies of seabirds down to the rock pools and have a poke around and you can see crabs, all sorts of different seaweeds. If you're really lucky, you can see seals bobbing around in the water. A multitude of wildlife to be seen here. Over the next few years we're really hoping to develop a strategy that we can take forward that helps us to better spatially plan activities at sea and to work with people and citizen scientists in particular, volunteers, to collect data and understand the impacts that we have on our sea and how we can address them for the future. And we're also thinking about the wider sea area as well. What do we need to see happen to make sure that the whole of the sea is managed for people and for wildlife?